I still find it amazing that you can get something like this from a roll of plastic like this. So I've done things a little bit differently for this project. I've designed this piece. So all you need is a 3D printer and some filament and you can put it together yourself. The crane is a symbol for hope. And I think in these crazy times that we live in, we can all use a little bit more hope. So I've put these files online. I'll put the link in the description below and you can download them. And if you have a 3D printer, you can print it and assemble it yourself. And I don't know, share, share it with someone, share the hope with someone, because I think we can all use that. So it's a 17 hour print. I'm gonna go run that and I'll see you tomorrow and we can put this thing together. Okay, parts are printed and it's time to start assembling, which is very straightforward and you don't really need any tools. So you'll notice all these tools here, not touching them because I don't need them. The only thing you might need is a hammer or something resembling a hammer. I actually have a hammer, so I'm just gonna use the hammer. Let's get into it. The first step is to loosen up the gears in the holes of this frame. So you're gonna put the gears in, just turn them around, make sure that they're spinning, like. I don't know, relatively good. This isn't precision machinery, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as nothing's catching, you know it's good. And then try putting all the gears in and spinning them together like this. And once you're satisfied with how easily that they're spinning, you can move on to the next step. So you're gonna take these gears and you're gonna align them. So you gotta take it out. You're going to align them so the holes are horizontal to each other. They could be vertical to each other. As long as they're in the same position, then you know you're in the right spot. Once you're sure that the gears are in the right spot, you take these C-clamps and you slot them into the, the gaps on the back of the gears. Super satisfying part. This is one of my favorite design features of this whole piece. From there, take this thing, take your box, and you're gonna slide this thing, very technical name for it, into the box. And this is where you might need the hammer. If it doesn't wanna slide all the way in, just take the hammer. And just tap it down. Make sure that you don't tap too hard. You wanna break the parts, but they're pretty strong and they can take a little bit of a beating. So also don't be afraid to just wail on it. Next thing we're gonna to put together is the universal joint. So take the middle cross thing and put one side in to one hole of one of the joint sides, doesn't matter which one. And you gotta kinda of just like stretch it out until it fits in the other side. And it might be a little bit tight, but just rotate it around a few times and it will loosen up good enough for what we're doing. And then we'll do the other side. Once your universal joint is like relatively loose, we'll call it, take this piece, which is called the shaft, and it just slides into the hole on the back of the box. Then you're gonna take this flat gear. There's a little bit of a ring on the back side of it. That's facing towards the wall of the box. That's gonna slide onto the shaft first, just like that. Make sure it can spin. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then you're gonna take the small coupler side, which is the one with the smaller thing coming out of it, and that goes on to the shaft on top of the gear. It should snap on with a pretty satisfying click. And once it's on, just give it a couple turns to make sure that it's relatively, again, relatively is the word because this is all 3D printed and we're not really looking for precision here, but relatively moving. Okay, so to keep this in place, we're gonna take this gear and it has like a little circle on the end so you know which one it is the right one. 
So that's gonna slot into this hole and push into the back of the other half of the universal coupling joint. And that should also just pop in with a good snap. So once that's in, give it some more spins just to make sure everything's moving. And right now for me, it does seem to be moving well. If it's not moving well for you, um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> if it's not moving well for you, just, you gotta just keep, keep moving it around. The universal joint is where most of the, I would say mechanical friction would come from. So just keep working on this inside gear right here. And eventually it will start to loosen up the more you just keep turning it. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the crank together. So you have this last small gear, that's gonna fit right in to this hole in the side of the box and it just pops right in really, really easily. And then on this crank, this piece is actually, it's a print in place joint. So you just gotta hold on to the little knob and you try to push it, wiggle it a little bit, but eventually you'll be able to get it to spin. So I'm holding the knob and the crank is spinning. So once you got that loosened up, give it a, a few more rotations, get it all loose, get it ready to do some cranking. Throw this little spacer onto that hex right there. And then you're just gonna pop this on. And you gotta give it a little push, but once it's on, it's not coming off. And that's the way we like it. Okay, so now the crank is on, just like in all the steps before, just keep spinning it, try to get everything worked in. But for the most part, it should work quite, we're gonna call it smoothly. Okay, mechanical part is completely finished. Let's assemble the bird. So you have these small hexagon things and the bird has little hexagon things on the inside. And so these are gonna pop in to those. And they should pop in relatively easy, but you want these to actually be tight because this is holding the bird together. But for me, they just snapped in really nicely. Take the other half of the bird, line it up, and that snaps together as well. Then the wings will also just snap right on. So you just kind of line one side up and just press the other side on and then it just kind of freely rotates on the body. So the next thing you're gonna do is grab these little sticks or whatever we're gonna call them. We'll call them, yeah, sticks is a good technical term for them. And they go with these little pieces facing towards the back of the bird. You're just gonna take this side, the little hole, and you're just gonna pop it, boom. Okay, now you gotta take these posts and just slot them into the base, just like that. You wanna do the other one. And then you're gonna take the crane and you're gonna, with these rods or sticks or whatever we decide to call them, inside you're gonna slot the crane right onto those posts. Okay, and for the final step, you're gonna take these shaft end of these rods and you're just gonna push them into the holes on the big gears. And that's it. We have ourselves a symbol of hope in trying times. The crane. Thank you guys so much for following along. I would love to hear what your experience was building one of these things. So please comment below or shoot me a DM on Instagram and I, I just wanna know how things went, if it went smoothly, if anything wasn't working, please let me know. If you don't have a 3D printer and you'd like one of these, that is also available on my website, either as a kit or fully assembled. And I will post a link in the comment below to those. For every one of these sold, I'm going to donate 15% to the Sick Kids Hospital in Toronto because I think that those kids need hope more than anyone. Thanks again and 
lots more videos to come, so subscribe if you're interested. Otherwise, I'll see you later.